What is up, everybody? Space Unicorn here, bringing you the question. The question you saw at the beginning is true. Should I quit Frag? Lately, I have been really thinking on this topic, and I, I've been going through the pros, cons, the movements from a business perspective, um, and just overall, what's going on with the game, and why it's in the state it is in. Why is Frag dying? I said the word. I feel that this is a question that all the content creators have to pose themselves. And so I wanted to do it and communicate with you guys what I'm feeling. I want to see what you guys are seeing as well. So if you could, please let me know in the comments down below if you're seeing something that I'm not. Um, and just give me something, some of your feedback, you know. This video will be a little longer than normal, so I'll be time stamping everything in the description down below. Go check out the part that applies most to you. Uh, and as always, if you could, leave a thumbs up, share the video with a friend. I really kind of hope that a dev sees this. Um, and we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly guys, so buckle up and uh, sit back. Because we're going to get into the things we love about Frag first, then we're going to dissect the problems that are currently in Frag. All right, so the first part of this video is going to be pretty straightforward. What is it that I, I love about Frag? Well, to be honest with you, there's four major components to Frag that I don't find in other games, and then it's what's made me stay as long as I have. As some of you guys may know, I am the longest running content creator in Frag. I have done the most Frag videos of any content creator in Frag Pro Shooter as well, and I am one of the original players. So with that being said, I have a pretty broad span of understanding of what's going on here. So let's start it off pretty simple. First thing that I really love about Frag, guys, is the competitive standpoint of it. Frag has a feel to it that's accessible to everybody. What does that mean? It means Frag is competitive, but you don't necessarily have to be a claw player to be competitive. For those of you guys that don't know what Claw is, that's in most mo most mobile games, you have to be able to play Claw to be truly competitive at it. Frag brings that accessibility to you on a personal level. And that is something that cannot be overlooked or mistaken for anything else. Great job for Frag for doing this. The second thing that I really love about Frag, guys, and this is going to sound really silly, it's the game's design, the characters, the maps. Why is it so good? Well, the reason is actually rather simple and complex all at the same time. So the first thing is this, sometimes a game tries to do too much with what they are given, meaning the maps are too complicated, the skins are too elaborate, thus causing a desync or an issue with the game itself. Frag seems to understand this, and while their skins are still really good, they have managed to minimize it so that they aren't game controlling, for lack of a better term. You guys have all heard the term pay to win skins on a map. Frag does not have that. And it's awesome to have that from the player's perspective because it makes the game, uh, cosmetics kind of make games more enjoyable and add more uniqueness to a player's view. So that's a great point for Frag as well. Now, the other thing that I like about Frag that I haven't found anywhere else, guys, is just the overall feel of the game. What does this mean? Well, a lot of games have a feel to them. Every game kind of has a feel. Every match has a feel in some games. Frag's uniqueness and its appetite for another is what makes it truly special. Not a lot of games can honestly say they're going to try to suck you in for another one. And Frag does this. And this is a huge credit to the development team's standpoint. So good job on their part, guys. So those three things, while some are relatively simple, are also super complex from the perspective of this is what the players want, this is what the players are getting, and this is how the devs deliver it to you. That is awesome, Frag. Good job on that. Now we need to talk about the ugly part of it that has me asking that question. Should I quit? So let's roll into that next. So now 
to answer the question you guys probably want to know there's a few parts to this question and realistically i've narrowed it down to five major points that are truly going to be the center for fo the focal points of this conversation is the word i'm going to use um and that is why is frag dying what are the issues with frag why are your favorite content creators leaving the game the answer to this question is a bit more complicated than you would think it would be but let's start with the game first so i've been around since beta and frag and the same bugs and issues seem to persist for the past four years in this game that's not okay that shouldn't have never been okay from a development standpoint that shouldn't be something you live with and that shouldn't be something your player base has to deal with on a consistent basis either. Why does your player base have to suffer because you can't fix a bug? I, I don't understand that. I don't understand the neediness or the uh, time frame or time scope scale that you guys are using to fix these issues. These issues realistically should have been fixed day one they popped up. I understand that it takes time to actually fix an issue. So for that, I understand. But to just ignore it for months, that's not okay. I know that kind of seems silly, but that's a major problem that needs to be taken care of if you want your game to succeed in the future. Now, the second issue that Frag has, and this is a kind of a weird one, but it kind of feeds into a few other things that are going to come up as well. And that's this, the lack of a true competitive scene. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about tournaments. There's tournaments everywhere. I'm not talking about FCL, for instance. I'm talking about a competitive scene. You have your ladder, which is what they view as a competitive scene, but your ladder is horribly broken. Your ladder cannot be based on pay to win. It needs to be based on skill. And the fact that it's still based on pay to win and who puts the most time in and who puts the most money in greatly diminishes the motivation from your players to play your game because they're not accomplishing everything. Most of your players cannot put thousands of dollars into a lineup to build a lineup that's going to be competitive. And Frag finds itself having this issue where pay to win has taken over. So, for those of you guys that don't understand this, let me put this back. There was an update a little while back that made there be a multiplier for every level your card gains. What this did was make it impossible for lower level cards to consistently compete with higher level cards, even as little as a one level difference. This was a horrible update patch, in my personal opinion, and I spoke out against it whenever it came to be. I'll leave a link to it if you guys want to check out that video in the top right hand corner. But now you see that this game is being dominated by either super high level players. That's all it is. And they have spent major money to get to those points. Most people can't do that. So that is a huge turnoff for your players. And this is going to cost you players as well. Frag has to see that their game cannot be geared solely towards pay to win. And all I've been seeing lately is they're gearing the events towards that pay to win player base. I have spoken out about it. The Frag Powers events are a complete joke. You can't physically do it without spending money. Like, come on. You have to be aware of your whole player base and not the small portion that are spending money. That's a big deal, guys. Now, that leads me into the next issue, and it's a big one. The lack of motivation for promotion of their content truthfully. This is going to probably get me in trouble with somebody, but at the end of the day, I think this needs to be said. You cannot let hackers and clickbaiters get away scotch free creating content on your game unless you are planning to incorporate 
said hacks. Hacking has been a major issue in Frag since day one. But with that being said, that's not the reason it's truly hurting the game. No, the reason it's truly hurting the game is because now that's all people want to see. If you look at trending topics and you look at games and Google searches and trends, you will see that frag went from being searched for frag gameplay or frag events to frag hacks, unlimited chests, unlimited diamonds, unlimited gold. That's a sign that your game's in trouble and you need to take a firmer stance at getting rid of it. Now, there is a thing in YouTube where the devs can strike those videos, those ones that are promoting false content, those people that are clickbaiting. And for those of you guys that are clickbaiting, let me make this clear. Clickbaiting, while it does lead to short-term success, does not equal long-term goals. Ugly but true. And I take major issue with people that do this. While I understand the place for it, you can make a clickable thumbnail and title without lying to the people that are watching your video. But this seems to be a point that people struggle on, unfortunately. And it's because of this point largely that your favorite content creators are stopping making videos on frag because their views are going to the hacks and the clickbait channels. There have been a lot of creators leaving the game because of this. And from a perspective of a creator, only the devs can truly take a stand on this. And they are choosing not to. I, I don't know how else to put it. If you want your game to thrive whenever it gets older, you need honest, good promotion. And right now, you don't have it. So tomorrow, guys, I'm going to make a video on how we fix the issues that are currently going on in Frag. Sorry about the footage being just a bunch of matches, guys, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. Tomorrow, the video will be how to fix it. Um, but today, I just wanted to bring these things to your attention. You as the frag community can help with a lot of this, especially for your content creators that you really love. It's up to you guys though. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out one of my other videos if you could. Link to those will be popping up momentarily. Uh, if you want to see the best character in frag or if you want to see how to win an event and get your team all those fun rewards, go check that out. But for now guys, stay safe. Enjoy the rest of this match, and I will see you legends next time. Bye-bye, everybody.